Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given that for a one non-ideal op-amp, its output impedance is equal to Z out. So here, for the given circuit, we have been asked to find the variation in the magnitude of the Z out as we increase the frequency f. So basically, here we have been asked to find the graph which represents the variation in the magnitude of the Z out with the frequency. So let us find that. So here, if you observe this circuit, then it is nothing but the unity gain follower. That means here, this output is same as the input. Now if you look this circuit from the feedback perspective, then it is the example of the voltage series feedback. Because here if you observe, then here, the output voltage is sampled and it is connected to the input side in the series connection. Because here, the difference between the input and the feedback voltage will be the new input to the amplifier. And the same thing also happens in the voltage series feedback. That means here, we sample the output voltage and the fraction of the output voltage is being given to the input side. And then, the difference between the input and the feedback voltage is then given to the amplifier. So here on the output side, since we have the shunt connection, so for the given circuit, the overall output impedance will reduce. So here, if the output impedance of this feedback circuit is equal to ZOF, then that can be given as this Z out divided by this 1 plus A beta, where the Z out is the output impedance of this non-ideal op amp. And in this case, the value of the beta is equal to 1, because here, the entire output voltage is given as a feedback to the input side. That means here, this beta is equal to 1. Moreover, here this A is the function of the frequency. Because typically we assume that with the change in the frequency, this amplifier gain remains constant. But actually, it is also function of the frequency. So we can say that for this unity gain follower, this output impedance ZOF is equal to Z out divided by this 1 plus A of F. It means that this A is the function of the frequency. And with this expression, now let us see how this output impedance changes with the frequency. So typically, for the non-ideal op-amp, if we see the gain versus frequency curve, then this is how it will look like. That means initially up to certain frequency, it will provide the very high gain. And after that, as the frequency increases, then its gain will reduce. So here, if this vertical axis is also a logarithmic scale, then in that case, when this line meets the horizontal axis, then that point represents the unity gain. And if we go beyond that frequency, then the gain value will be less than 1. Or in the decibel, that will be equal to negative. So in this case, the output impedance with the feedback can be given as this Z out divided by 1 plus A naught, where the A naught is the open loop gain of this op amp. So here if you see, then at the low frequencies, the value of the gain will be very high. And typically, it is in the range of 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 6. So at the low frequencies, the value of the A naught will be very high. And we can approximately say that this ZOF is equal to Z out divided by A naught. And since the A naught is very high, so the value of the ZOF will be very low. And on the logarithmic scale, this is how it can be represented. Because here, up to certain frequency, this gain remains constant. And after that, as the frequency increases, then the gain will reduce. And as per this expression, if we see the output impedance, then that will increase. So on this curve, it will look like this. And whenever this curve crosses the horizontal axis, at that time, the gain of this op-amp will be equal to 1. And if we go beyond that, then the value of the gain will be much less than 1. So after this intersection point, this A0 will be very much less than 1. And in that case, we can say that this ZOF is approximately equal to Z out. And beyond that frequency also, this ZOF will remain the same. So on this graph, the same thing will look like this. That means beyond the unity gain frequency, 
his output impedance is equivalent to z out that means if we see the graph of this output impedance with the frequency then this is how it will look like and therefore for the given question this is the correct answer